kids, it's time for books. So cuddle up to mum or dad and let's rock and read. Today, I'll be reading you Bluey Mum School. Let's read. Bluey and Mum are in the lounge room playing with lots of balloons. <sighs> Suddenly, Bingo runs through in her towel, chased by Dad. Hey Bingo, good work for having a bath, says Mum. Yeah, but she hasn't cleaned her teeth, complains Dad. Come here. <laughs> it's Bluey's bath time too. I can smell you from here, jokes Mum. But Bluey wants to play mum school with the balloons as her children. Their names are Windgust, Kiwi, Dronigan, Pearl and Lightning Bolt. What about that one? asks mum, pointing to a balloon floating up on the ceiling. Oh Greenie, you're such a pickle, says Bluey, grabbing him with a robot claw. Mum still wants to run the bath, but Bluey hands her a clipboard to record Bluey's score for being a good mum. You don't need anyone keeping score, says Mum. But when Granny escapes to the ceiling again and Bluey throws a cushion at him, Mum changes her mind. Now it's movie time for the kids. Two points to Bluey when she suggests Greeny hold her hand so he doesn't fly away again. He is such a handful. Mum gives Bluey zero points for putting a cushion on Greeny's head. Two points for telling off wind gust for calling Greeny a cushion head. Zero points for allowing Greeny to hit wind gust to get him back. The kids are getting a bit out of control. Maybe it's time for some exercise in the indoor pool, suggests Mum. But Bluey has trouble making them walk straight along the hallway. It's frustrating when they don't listen to you, says Bluey. Yes, it is, agrees Mum. Maybe Bluey can show them how to walk properly. Bunt, bunt. I'll show them all right. Bluey bunts them along the hallway with a roll of wrapping paper. Zero points from Mum. Come on, Greeny, you're old enough to walk by yourself, says Bluey. Greeny finds walking a little tricky, explains Mum. Oh, nonsense, says Bluey. He's got two legs. This way. Bluey puts all the kids into the pool, except Greeny. Enjoy your swim. Now, Greeny, if I let you out of there, are you going to behave yourself, asks Bluey. I think you know the answer, says Mum, raising an eyebrow. But other than giving Greeny a bunt with the wrapping paper, Bluey doesn't know what to do. Before Mum can offer any advice, they hear Dad and Bingo coming in. I just have to mark this other student. He's in Dad's school, explains Mum as they hide in the shower. Whew, this sack of potatoes is heavy. <laughs> Dad is still trying to get Bingo to brush her teeth. Put me down! Yells Bingo, squirming out of Dad's grip and running away. Dad gets two points for making it fun. Zero points when he gets distracted and Bingo slips away. And five points for the tickling move. Unhand me! I don't want to clean my teeth! But then, Dad stops and examines Bingo. Hmm, there must be a reason why you're being such a pickle tonight, Dad says. He wonders if Bingo is still hungry. I'll race you to the kitchen, Dad explains. Go, whack a do, Mum gasps, giving him top marks. Bluey's impressed. Maybe she can have another go at dealing with Greeny. Bluey takes Greeny out of the basket, holding him gently. Hi, sweetheart. There must be a reason you keep floating off. Bluey wonders what it could be. Maybe Greeny just likes exploring, but he's not old enough to go exploring on his own yet. One day, you can float up as high as you want. But for now, here's a special present so you don't go too far. Bluey ties a magnet to Greeny's string to keep him down. Because I love you so much, says Bluey. And that's worth four marks at mum's school. Finally, Bluey jumps in the pool with the kids for a splash. Yeah! Nice work, mum. After the bath, it's time to get dry. There you go, darling, says Bluey, patting her kids with a towel. She's almost past mum school. Bluey wants to go over the hairdryer, sending the kids flying everywhere. Whoa! 
but one kid floats all the way out the door for an adventure. Greedy. Does this mean I fail mum school? Asks Bluey, disappointed. Yeah, but that's okay. We all fail mum school sometimes. We can just start again tomorrow, says mum. Will Greeny be okay? Asks Bluey. Yeah, I think he'll do just fine, replies mum. How do you know? Asks Bluey, still unsure. Because he's got a good mum. Thank you so much for joining me to read tonight. I hope you have a great night. And if you'd like to see my next book, remind mum and dad to subscribe. See you next time.